Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Today we're going to have a very ba basic meal. We're going to cook Brussels sprouts in the oven. We're going to have a light glaze of tofu and green peppers and a little bit of edamame. It's uh, going to be a very delightful, simple meal. And we may even decide to add a little of this squash here. This is yellow squash, a little bit different than what you normally see me use. And we're going to add the same thing to this. We're going to add this. I'm going to call it the green sauce. We're going to add the green sauce to it. So come and see what I turn up with. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! Half cup of shelled edamame is 120 calories, 9 grams of fiber, 2.5 grams of fat, 1.5 grams of polyunsaturated fat, 0 0.5 grams of mono, mono unsaturated fats, 11 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbohydrate, 15 milligrams of sodium. It has vitamin C, iron, vitamin A, and calcium. All right. So my mother and I, we went over to the farmer's market today and we picked this all up, these little pieces, these small little Brussels spouts for about three bucks. Okay, maybe it was two fifty. It's okay. Two fifty, you think, or three dollars? Anyway, it's three dollars. Yeah. So what we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to slice them in half like this. We're going to lay them on the baking pan. Hopefully, it'll be upwards instead of downwards, and we're going to put our secret green sauce which if you saw the, la the last video you know basically it is a combination of whole house tofu one green pepper and some edanami and that's how beautiful color came up we'll cover this back up again we're also going to cut up this unusual yellow squash it's not one i'm used to seeing we see we it's it's paired and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this up and also apply this on our baking sheet step one we're going to cut our brussels sprouts now before we do that we're going to wash them real quick now we're using this salad spinner because it's just easier now these are local grown community supported agriculture it's a farmer's market. They show up next to our Lowe's every now and then and they grow their own vegetables and sometimes you get some really good deals like we did today. Then we move over to the sink. Just get any extra dirt that there might be on. Okay. And then you can see we can quickly like salad where we're going to dry it. Okay, next. We're putting it right there. And you can see me cut this up as I go. So it's no really thing. If the leaves were bad, I'd peel it off. But they're not. So for right now, we're just going to put them on the side. Some leaves will fall off in this. And what I usually do is I put it in my salad. Now this is gonna take some time, so I'm going to be quiet and we're gonna speed through this until I do the next step. Okay, the next step is turn on your oven. Okay. This is a super smart oven, you have to put in the temperature. Three, five, zero, start. All right, the next step after that is get your pan. Oven zero, pans are over here. 
not especially pretty pan, but it's gonna have parchment paper over the top of it, so it won't make any difference. We're gonna also zip through this because parchment paper, I never went and took parchment paper 101, so I'm so clumsy at it. Put all of it on top. Some of you might decide that this is way too much work. So what you do, you're just going to grab one portion of your parchment paper and you're gonna lay these up. Basically, this is the top, that's the bottom. Or the inside, the inside up. Now, uh, several ways to do this. I'm gonna use a paintbrush and paint on the topping on. But you could dip it if you wanted to. There's a lot of things that you can do with this smeal. So just like before, it's gonna take some time to do this, so we're gonna zip through this. Now this sauce is good for about four days. So I made the cauliflower with a topping like this and I brushed it with a brush and I had a very nice taste to it, but it wasn't overly, um, what's that word? It didn't stand out. This time I'm putting a lot more sauce. I'm hoping it stands out more. And the best part is that you're adding, the, with the tofu, you're adding protein to your meal. So another tofu recipe that you can use. And go back and add more if you need to. You have lots left. I got up this morning and decided to have cream of wheat and I didn't add that beverage I said I was going to have with this sauce. And I started thinking I could use it on many other types of meals. Especially since it turned out really nice. Sounds like uh, Joy's having a good time chomping on that bone. Yes, I could hear that. Okay, so I'm going to introduce my mother real quick. Hello, Mom. Hi, Gary. Okay, so that's my mom, and she's watching me as I do this deliciousness in our kitchen. Now, that's what it's going to look like. We're not going to put it in till we heat the oven reaches. Right now, it's at 187 degrees, so we have a little bit of time. Next, we're going to do is I've already washed this. We're going to cut these now. You need at least a bigger knife than that. I'm gonna cut this with my $2 knife. Now, you know I cut the ends on these, so you're gonna cut the gourd end. This is the gourd end and the very tip. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. It's green. Oh, look at that, it's green. I don't know if that means that um, well, but this one's all right so this gonna be okay all right so we're gonna do is we're gonna sl cut slices into it and what's really strange is there's no seeds at all so I'm cutting about a quarter inch ah, here's, here's the seeds 
the seeds are more, and they're very, very small. I'm gonna use a little shortcut so that I can trim, so I can make it stand up. I just cut the bottom off here. I'm thinking this is a very young plant. You see how green it is over here? It's got a little bit of a green edge to it. So, never using this type of green squash. Usually what I like to do is make sure my squashes aren't green. Okay, cut that. Cut the edge here. So this one, same thing. Now this was grown here in California, in Southern California. Now watch, we're gonna peel this one. If you're not sure if your um, gardener, not your, if your farmer is using pesticides, peel the skin. It gives you an idea of what the fruit is all about. Looks like this is a combination of other fruits, other squashes. And if you have a compost pile, throw this in your compost pile. Then you take your larger knife and you just slice it, slice through it. And this one is more green. I'm going to cut the bottom off here so it stands up. So what we figured out is this was originally a, the oven is ready. This was originally a green squash that turned yellow. And I tasted it and it tastes delicious. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to salt and pepper. Now I deliberately didn't do that to the Brussels sprouts. Okay, so this is just garlic salt. Coarse ground with parsley. As you can see, now we're not putting that much on there. I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the Brussels sprouts. We're going to grab it. I'm going to put a nice glop. I guess it's not the term to put a glop of your sauce on top. But you're going to put a nice layer on top. Now, if you're sensitive to salt, don't put any salt on it. It's going to taste good just without it. And this is going to add protein to your squash. If you like it more firm, for example, crispy, put some breadcrumbs on it. I'm not doing that this time, but you, you have options here. My recipes aren't made in concrete. Or you can change them. You can grab this recipe and make something of it. And if you put it on YouTube channel, just say you were inspired by me. I'd feel wonderful if you did that. Or you can use my product. All right. So I should have done it this way because now it's going to adhere a little bit better. But before it just fell practically off. If you're salt sensitive, don't put this salt on. Not a really good product is spike. No salt in. Ah, you remember this one? Mm, it smells delicious. Just put a little bit on, just a little bit to a little bit of a taste. It's not that the squash isn't gonna have any taste, it's just a little seasoning is nice. You can also use Italian seasoning. After all, a squash is probably Italian. 
This is not Italian squash, but it could be. Right, Mom? All right, so next one. We're gonna do you're gonna take a metal spatula and you're just gonna take it off now you could you could physically you can see this is completely cooked but you could put it on the other side if say you wanted to and we're just gonna eat it this way we're gonna test it out by three of them and we're gonna and it's because it's a nice thin squash it didn't have to take a full hour to cook it it's not like you're cooking and like it. you're cutting in half and, and stuffing it. Mm. So we just made this delicious meal, and as you can tell, it's very good. It's got that nice lightly salt on it and it's got that tofu green sauce on top. It's a little bit bland on the thicker parts and I'm gonna have to come up with a different uh, recipe for that. But this would still work very well for uh, a dinner party or even something unusual for your home. I can tell you I'm gonna enjoy it, eating it. Now the Brussels sprouts, that's gonna take more time. They're denser, more thicker than simple squash. All right, so this ends part one, and we'll be doing the rest of uh, part two for the Brussels sprouts. Come back in a little bit, and we'll do the Brussels sprouts. Okay, so now we're pulling the Brussels sprouts out. crispier than the squash came out. Now don't forget to turn off your oven. So for me, it's right here is red light 350. I press off, the red light's gone, the oven's off. Now what I made the mistake of with the squash is when it came out, it was sort of gooey on the top. It tasted good, but it was it didn't work. So it's possible that it needed to, to actually cook longer. Now these are much different. They don't have that puffiness on the on top. I think it's gonna be much better. and it has that imparted flavor that I was hoping for. It doesn't mask the Brussels sprouts, because I like Brussels sprouts the way they are, but it gives it that unique flavor. So this works. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. We're gonna, I'm gonna take a big chunk of this and have myself a wonderful dinner. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. La la la. Now there's a nice one.